everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Tanaj Nikki, and today I'm going to be giving you some maternity friendly holiday outfit ideas. I am currently five and a half months pregnant and the holidays are right around the corner. Now the reason why I say these are maternity friendly is because all these are items that are not considered maternity off the rack. They are straight sizes that I had previously prior to getting pregnant. But like I said, they are maternity friendly. So even if you don't have a bun in the oven, you can wear these outfits too. So if you're interested in content like this, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you're subscribed, make sure you click the notification bell so you know if I have everything I have coming out here on YouTube. So let's get into it. These are items I would expect you to wear out and about or at events. If you're specifically looking for items that are currently in your wardrobe, work for maternity wear, I will have a video coming out that focuses on just that. What's already in your closet that you don't have to look out and buy specifically with the label maternity. I'm gonna start with an item that I didn't think that was actually going to work as an outfit that would fit over the belly. Is this maroon colored jumpsuit. This jumpsuit has a good bit of stretch to it and I will say of course that is one of the main things that you wanna look for and an outfit that you're trying to make work for maternity is stretch. Cause you want things still to fit but also fit over the bump as well. I'm Comparing it here with some gold heels I've had for several years and I just think it's a nice compliment. It makes the outfit look a little lighter with the lighter shoe. I believe this outfit is particularly flattering for maternity mostly because of how things are draped. The stretch actually accentuates the bump which is nice if you want to show off your bump. <laughs> The draping shoulder complements the entire structure of the outfit. Like I said, this is a straight size. It is in a size medium by the brand Almost Famous. I don't have the fabric percentages, but I will link something similar in the description box below. I'll give you the maternity option of something and also the straight size in the description box. Like I said, this is such a very cute outfit that I feel like it's very appropriate for the holiday season, particularly in this color, and looks great as a maternity option. Next you can see here is this red ruse dress that I got actually from Temu. I got it at the top of the year. I'll link up here when I purchased this item from Temu, it was sponsored, and I never thought that I would be using it as a maternity dress, but here we are. <laughs> I paired it here with some red suede pumps that are the same shade of red. This dress does have some fleece lining to it, which makes me think it's much more appropriate for like cooler months. The ruching on the side gives way and allows for the bump to be accentuated. This is very comfortable and also very straightforward dress to let everyone know that you're sporting a bump. And like I said previously, I got this at the top of the year and I wore it when I wasn't pregnant and I thought it looked great then. So this is definitely something that I feel like is quite versatile and it's something that can stay in your closet postpartum as well. This holiday red is very appropriate for the season and I think that it's something you can also wear around Valentine's Day and it is such a great option to have even if you're carrying a bump like I am right now. Next I'm moving on to a sweater dress option. This is actually from Walmart. Uh, it's a no boundaries long sleeve sweater dress. Uh, I bought this approximately, I bought this almost two years ago and I absolutely love this dress. This is one of my favorite dresses to wear because it's so comfortable and it feels like you're just wearing a nice sweater. I don't necessarily feel like I'm wearing a sweater dress if that makes sense. This crossover tie that's right in the front with the keyhole actually really accentuates the bump in such a cute way. This looks like a maternity dress to me um, in the way that the other online dresses that I've seen that are sported for maternity where it, there's just a lot of extra fabric where it seems like there's extra room where the belly is. But it is a straight size. This is also in the medium. And I remember I think I paid maybe $12 for it because it was on sale. So again, look in quote unquote uh, regular sizes. You don't necessarily have to look for uh, maternity dresses to be able to sport a maternity outfit. Don't be afraid to shop in the women's section to find something really cute that will work for this holiday season. I'm pairing this dress with these black lace heels with a bow on the side. I will say when we're talking fashion wear as far as pairing maternity clothes with outfits, just make sure that they are shoes that you're comfortable standing in for a long time because even if it is a short time, the more weight that you're carrying, your distribution is a little different. <laughs> so I've, I've learned that recently that uh, shoes that I'm very comfortable in normally, it's just a short amount of time that I can tolerate standing on them. While these shoes are to die for and I love them, I don't think I'll be able to wear these for a very long time. <laughs> So just look out for that when you're looking at your current shoe selection and trying to work these into events. But this is such a cute dress. Like I said, I absolutely adore it. I'm happy that I have something that I could wear while pregnant and also something that I will be happy to wear postpartum. And last but not least is the outfit that I'm wearing right now. This is a super comfy, I think more of an out and about 
kind of outfit. I think going to see Christmas lights, going to a more casual Christmas party. This is a white tunic sweater with a cowl neck and I'm pairing it with some velvet leggings that have a pretty wide stretch band. Again, both of these are straight sizes. This is a large sweater that was purchased from Target years ago and these leggings are from Walmart, also purchased years ago. <laughs> I'm pairing it here with these snow boots. Just make it more winter-esque. I just think they're super cute. And how often do you get to wear cute snow boots like this? <laughs> Admittedly, this is likely the most comfortable option of the ones that I've shown you today. So if you're looking for something that's extremely comfortable, this is definitely that. While looking for tops, if you're still going to go into straight sizes, not necessarily aimed at maternity, I would say getting a tunic with a stretchable fabric will do the same job. Like I said, I've owned this sweater for several years, so I knew this would be a great option and I wouldn't have an issue uh, with it going over the bump. But if you're buying something like this online, just make sure that the fabric allows for the stretching so that the fabric either doesn't compress on your stomach in an uncomfortable way or that it rises up and it kind of defeats the purpose of it being a full-on sweater. I have made that mistake with some really cute turtlenecks that I thought could make it over and it, they just didn't. So <laughs> go for the longer tunic option like presented here. And if you ask me, this is one of the cutest outfits. I'm definitely wearing this this holiday season. All right, guys, those are my maternity friendly holiday options. Let me know what you think. I think it was great for me to be able to look into my closet and to see what I already had that wasn't labeled maternity that would work for what my body is doing right now. This also leads to the sustainability factor in that I will be able to keep these in my closet when I don't have the bump anymore. If you enjoyed today's content, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you're subscribed, make sure you click the notification bell so you know if I have everything I have coming out here on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm at Tanaj Nikki. And thank you so much for joining me today. See you guys on the next one. Bye.